Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Nick's my name. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I post new videos every week, all different kinds of videos. So make sure to check out my channel. Maybe you'll find something you like. So if you've been on my channel before, you've probably seen that I'm real into iPhone and iPhone accessories. And back when I had my iPhone 7 Plus, I made a best iPhone 7 Plus cases video. And now I have the iPhone 10, and I've collected quite a few cases. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a best iPhone 10 cases video. So if you're someone who's into iPhone accessories and different iPhone cases, make sure to stick around. Let's get started. So my first favorite iPhone 10 case is the Apple silicone cases. They have a pretty hefty price tag on them. They run between $50 to $60, I think. I'll leave the price somewhere here. But my favorite part of them is the feeling of them. They feel so soft. And I'm the type of person that loves slim cases on their phone. I don't like lots of bulk. And the inside is like a microfiber type material. So it keeps your iPhone from getting scratches. If like dust gets in there, it won't move around at all. And that is definitely a plus for the iPhone 10 because the edge is stainless steel. So it's very prone to scratches. Definitely protect it from getting scratches super easily. My next favorite case is by a company called Wildflower. You may have seen them on Instagram and Twitter. They're huge on social media. They make all different kinds of custom cases. I believe each case is unique to the buyer, so no case is the same. The prices, I believe, are $35 and $38, depending on what your phone size is. I believe like the iPhone 7, iPhone 10 size cases are $35, and then the plus models of iPhones are $38. I like them because I love the way they fit on your phone. They fit really snug. They all have this nice black bumper on the edge, so you do get some protection, and then they have this nice hard plastic backing with cool-ass designs on them. All their cases are so dope. They have so many different designs on their website, so definitely go check them out. You'll probably find something you like. I first got a wildfire case with my iPhone 7, and when I got it, I never used any case for like six months, and that's huge for me because I'm always changing my cases. So I definitely had to pick up a few of these for my iPhone 10. This is the other one I picked up. That other one was red camo. This one is called Check Please because of the checkers. This obviously does not come on the case, it's a black pop socket. And if I remember, I just joined their rewards program, so I'm gonna leave my reference code down there, and you can buy a case and earn me some points. All the cases relatively feel the same. Like I said, they all have that black bumper and the plastic back, but the only thing I did notice is that the red camel bumper was slightly thicker than this one, which is not a big deal at all. It's just something that I noticed. In this next case, if you watched my Protect Your iPhone 10 for under $20 video, you've seen this case. It's this clear case from Amazon. It was at like, I don't even remember how much it was. I think it was like $10, $12 or something like that. I'll leave the price somewhere around here. Overall, it's a pretty good case. Like I said, the back is a nice plastic and the edge is like a TPU rubber shell. My biggest complaint is the outer TPU shell started to discolor and I hate that. It started turning like this weird, beigey brown color. I am not into that. If that's something that doesn't bother you, then this case is great. The price is really good. It looks pretty nice. And pairing it with a glass screen protector, it is virtually perfect. But I really don't like how the edge discolored. I just think it looks like garbage. And it just doesn't make my super expensive phone look as nice as it could, you know? And if you're spending that much on a phone, you might as well have your phone look just as nice as it does with a case on that it looks without a case. But like I said, that's just my personal preference. So if you don't really care, I definitely recommend this case. It's cheap and it works and it protects your phone to a certain extent. Now, with that being said, I still do really like clear cases and I wanted to give them another shot. So I went and picked up the OtterBox Symmetry clear case. As you may know, I'm not a huge bulk person when it comes to my phone. I don't like bulky cases. I never buy OtterBoxes, but the OtterBox Symmetry but the OtterBox Symmetry series is very minimal. It's not super bulky, but it still protects your phone, and I love that. So I went and picked up the clear Symmetry case, and I guess I'm mainly just hoping that the edge doesn't discolor like the other one did. With a higher end brand like OtterBox, it definitely shouldn't discolor anything like that. And if it does, OtterBox has like a one year or lifetime, I don't really remember, warranty so I can get it replaced for wicked cheap anytime I need. So hopefully this case is a winner. I've only been using it for a few days and so far no discoloration. So fingers crossed, this is a great case. Although it is a great case, I feel like the price is a little too high for what you're getting. Like I said, it's not super protective. It protects it just enough. I believe this case is like 40, 50, maybe higher in price. And for this type of case, I really don't think that's worth it. I think it should be in between 20 and 30, like right in there. I definitely do think it's overpriced, but hey, if it doesn't discolor and it makes my phone look good, 
good, I'm willing to spend the extra money, I guess. So there you have it. Those are my favorite iPhone 10 cases or best iPhone 10 cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. Found a new case maybe you want to check out or buy. Let me know in the comments what kind of case you use on your phone or what your favorite cases are or do you use a case on your phone? Whatever you want. I always love checking out new cases, so definitely leave me some recommendations to check out below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That'll let me know if you like this video and maybe as I collect more cases for my iPhone 10 throughout this year, I can do another one of these videos for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I post new videos every week. All my social media is also linked down below, so make sure to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that other stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week.